Nathaniel. I didn't think it was possible for me to find love, to be loved like this. There was a time I was sure that this day would never come, and if it somehow did, I thought I would mistakenly be standing at the altar with absolutely nothing to give. But our God is so faithful, because I'm literally standing across from a man who saw something in me that for so long, I refuse to see in myself. Work. Carrie, first off, happy anniversary. It was five years ago today that I put myself out there and asked you to be my girlfriend. Little did I know that five years later, this is where we'd end up. Now, I always envisioned getting and being married but what I couldn't know was exactly how it come to be. The way you intentionally choose to express your love, that proves to me that this, what we share is different, and that this is real, and that this could be trusted, that this is safe. I'm just so in love with you. It's when you kiss me on the forehead that all of a sudden I promise I can feel your love seep down to the depths of my soul. And it's even the moments you grab for my hand, holding it, reminding me to just breathe, that I'm finally convinced that I'm not alone. Thank you for being my safe place, for the times you held me in your arms. Thank you for authentically being you, because your growth and obedience to God has become all I never realized I needed. Loving you has become so easy. Yes, difficult at times, but easy nonetheless. I thank you and I cherish you for making me feel both desired and a desire when you glance in my direction. For loving me the way that I am and believing there's a better version of me to attain as well for always being there for me, even when I may not ask you to. I was waiting for the moment I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nathaniel and Carrie Igarawa. I wouldn't miss it for I vow to pray first, even when it only comes out in a whisper. I vow to wake up every morning choosing to love you, striving to love you as best I can selflessly. And I vow to do my part in creating a home, a life, where in the midst of this chaotic world, you will be heard, appreciated, and valued. And it wouldn't be me if I didn't mention, I vow a life full of a sassy attitude, uh, extraness and being cute. <laughs> but babe, I make these vows to you forever and always. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, I vow to you to do all that and more. To gaze at you and get lost in your beauty to love you endlessly without falter, to always be at your side and never leave you, and to cherish you every day without a care, but also to aspire to be strong and dedicated to not only you, but to us and what we're building. 
I've called you the chosen one for years now. And um, it's because I made that conscious choice to choose you. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. I will continue to choose you.